I've always wanted to go to Disney World. And with Dreams Take Flight, her dream is coming true. Dreams Take Flight is a national nonprofit organization that takes children between the ages of 6 and 12 who are physically, mentally, and socially challenged on a one day adventure to Disney World. This is the meet and greet session for the 2015 Winnipeg chapter of Dreams Take Flight. The kids have their photos taken, get to meet the other travelers, and their group leaders. I am a group leader. That means I have four youngsters, four young boys on this trip that I'm responsible for. And my main goal is to make sure that they have the best day of their lives and go on as many rides. I got a couple of side bets going with some of the other group leaders that we're going to do more rides than anybody else, but they're going to have the full Disney World experience with me as their leader. At this point, their trip is still a week away, and some of the kids are still in disbelief. Extremely excited and extremely, well, surprised. He was over the top. He just, he couldn't believe it. You know, well, I mean, what would any kid act like? He really was. I mean, he, you know, I just can't believe this. I can't believe this, you know. And, and I mean, every day he says, oh, it's one day more, one day more, you know. He, he's he got some anxiety over it. He's been up and down. He was counting down. Now he's kind of, eh, now he's back to, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. So I'm glad to see it. Later, the day finally arrives. Three, look this way, guys. The kids arrive at the airport and check in at 3.30 a.m. <laughs> Once everyone is accounted for, it's time to make their way to their very own plane. The flight to Orlando, Florida is over four hours, a new experience for some of the tiny travelers. We had a lot of boys in my group who'd never flown before, and I had one boy who didn't smile all morning, and then as soon as the plane took off, the smile on his face was like this, and that just sort of sets off the day in the right foot. <laughs> and what better way to keep the fun factor and excitement going than with a Dreams Take Flight epic pillow fight. The plane lands in Orlando and the kids are greeted by Disney tour buses. Great! Then it's off to the Magic Kingdom. A lot of the kids, their daily trips to the doctors and, um, you know, medicines and nurses and being poked, they can forget about all that stuff and come here and be kids for a day again and uh, enjoy themselves. A lot of the kids would never, ever be able to come if it wasn't for dreams. It didn't look that exciting, but then I saw everything and it was just like, wow. After taking in a parade, our cameras follow a group of boys on a mission to take in everything the happiest place on earth has to offer. This is the best group ever. I'm not saying anything bad about the other groups, but these four guys, the four boys that we have, all they want to do is go. And go they did. Only taking a break to grab a cold drink or treat. Then it was back to taking in all the classics, like the Haunted Mansion, Splash Mountain, and Space Mountain but also a new ride called Seven Dwarfs Mining Train. They even got to take a crash course in driving. I thought, like, it was just going to be, like, a couple rides, but then it turned out to be better rides than I thought. But it seems that one ride took the cake. My favorite part was going on the Splash Mountain because when we came down, we would get the chills and we would get splashed. Splash Mountain. Why was it so good? Because there's a, a 50 feet drop. I went to Disney World and, and I went 
like the Splash Mountain. Because of all the rides and a lot of people and all the fun things. All in all, a busy but fun day. After all the walking and excitement, the plane ride home was very quiet. Catching a few Z's as they fly home to their families. Goodie bags, souvenirs, and lifelong memories in tow. All thanks to Dreams Take Flight. <laughs>